All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing and unboxing an electronic half-inch drive torque wrench by eTorque. So let's get right to it. All right, so here's what you get. A nice hard plastic case. You can see right here, it's got the eTorque logo on it, half-inch drive torque wrench. And on the case, it shows you it's uh, uh, zero, or 25 to 250 foot-pounds, 300 to 3,000 inch-pounds, 33.9 to 339 newton meters and 346 to 3,456 kilogram centimeters. Uh, very, very cool. Designed in Georgia. So this is a nice heavy duty case. It hinges, protects the torque wrench. And here is what we have. See right here, a nice half inch drive torque wrench. Very nice, first impressions. It feels really good. I mean, it's heavy when you pick up the case. It's a heavy plastic case. The torque wrench is heavy, so that's nice. It comes with a certificate of calibration. And one thing I've noticed about on this certificate here, you can see there, there's actually a serial number. So they don't just whip these out by a batch and put them in, you know, 100 torque wrenches. And um, this is actually specific to this torque wrench. So very, very cool. So um, it's actually been calibrated and checked. Um, it also comes with a nice set of instructions. Okay, so I want to go over some of the specifications of this torque wrench. This torque wrench right here has a 45 tooth ratcheting head, is very nice. It's made from hardened steel. It has a hard plastic uh, shell to protect the computerized electronic equipment. There is an adjustable locking knob right here, so when you're setting the torque, you pull it out, rotate it, and put it back in. Uh, and that itself um, protects the torque. Um, the length of this torque wrench is 23, I think it's like 23.6 um, inches. Um, it's also, uh, the height of it is 1.6 inches and the diameter is 1.8 inches. Like I said, it's a half inch drive. Um, another thing definitely needs to be pointed out is in the clockwise direction, the accuracy on this torque wrench is plus or minus three degrees. You can also use it to torque counterclockwise and the accuracy is plus or minus six degrees, which is very nice. And I want to point out too, on this certificate of calibration, you can see uh, in 50, torque sets 50, 150, and 250, uh, it, in the clockwise direction, it was actually able to hold the, um, the max error to 1.1 degrees, you know, so that's very, very impressive. And counterclockwise, counterclockwise, don't be alarmed, is always a little more touchy. Uh, usually the errors are a little bit bigger. So same here, you can see, the torque sets of 50, 150, and 250, um, the max deviation or max error was, uh, you know, 1.8 degrees negative. So it was a little bit on the under torque side, but um, still a very impressive number. So like I stated earlier, this torque wrench, uh, it is capable of torquing in the four different uh, torque uh, measuring ranges or, or um, units, I should say. It does foot pounds, inch pounds, uh, kilogram per centimeters, and newton meters. It has this really nice uh, indicator here. Just one push on the red button is the power button. And you can see it comes right to life. There we go, 21 inch pounds. If uh, you want to turn it off, just a long push. And it also has an auto off um, feature that if you leave the wrench on for more than 10 minutes, it shuts itself off. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. You can see on the LCD um, screen it has a battery indicator. These have, uh, this has a, um, uh, the little like watch batteries, two LR44 batteries inside you'd access just by popping that little screw out. Um, it has a long life though on the batteries, so I don't think you're gonna be needing to worry about that. The battery life for a fully charged like it is right now is approximately 30 hours. And then when the, um, in the, the enunciator down here gets down to just one bar left, there's approximately 10 hours of uh, life left in your torque wrench. So, um, and like I said, you'll just pop out that one screw and you'll go ahead and uh, change out the battery. Uh, it's two LR44s or equivalent. Uh, this is a very nice plastic handle here. It feels really good in your hand. And let me, well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let me come back up to the, um, the screen button. So this is how you select through the units. You can see there's Newton meters, there's kilogram centimeters, uh, foot pounds and inch pounds. And then to make adjustments, you just pull out on this locking uh, adjustment screw here, which I really, really like because once you get the torque set, pop it in and it's set. 
So we'll just go ahead and give it a little, see? Very little movement here and it's super, super sensitive. Not sensitive, but works very, very well. And we'll speed it up a little bit and there you go. And then once you get, we'll set it up to 30 inch pounds. And then once we get the um, torque set to 30, we'll go ahead and lock it in. Oops, back a little bit. I always come past the torque and dial back up to it. Um, one thing I learned when I was working on aircraft. So here you go, up to 30. Boom! And then lock it in. It's just went a little bit past, but you get the idea. So now it's locked in, it can't go anywhere. So this ratcheting head here, which is all made out of steel, you can uh, obviously actuate it one way or another. This uh, selector here uh, looks like it's probably cast. It has a really nice uh, ball bearing in there that um, will trap your whatever socket is that you're, um, you know, keeping engaged. On the end of the, uh, on the steel part of the torque wrench, you can see that it's actually, it has the model number, the EC3550, uh, or 3250, sorry, and then it has the, um, the torque and um, newton meters. It shows you what it's capable of and then also the, the accuracy of it, which is cool. Also, here you go, eTorque. Uh, you can go to their website for all your needs. Amazon as well. That's very nice. I like this. So, uh, first impressions in my hand. This feels really good. Feels like, you know, high quality. Uh, other torque wrenches I've owned um, definitely feels quality. There's some good weight to it. Doesn't feel cheap. Um, I like, oh yeah, and check this out. This is really cool. I like that the screen will do a long push here. And look, it's backlit. So how cool is that? If it's, you know, dark or even bright sunlight, you know, and you just want to really be able to read uh, or have that black lettering stand out, lights right up. So I really, really like that. But um, yeah, on to and then continue on with this torque wrench. This um, case here, it's hard plastic. Like I said, this is a plastic handle. Um, it's got this green inlay in it, which is really nice. It feels good in your hand, so. One thing I forgot to mention about this wrench is just like any other torque wrench, uh, they're eventually going to need to be recalibrated. And uh, although you see Made in China logo on this wrench, and don't let that fool you because just about every other wrench you buy is Made in China and it's redistributed all over the world. So, um, But if this wrench needs to be recalibrated, uh, it, there's a calibration center right in Roswell, Georgia for any kind of service or anything like that, so you'll get that good, um, you know, U.S. quality reinspection calibration as well as customer service. So I really, really like that about this wrench as well. So let's go ahead and put this wrench to the test. I'm going to go torque the lug nuts on my car and see how it does. All right, so we got the torque wrench here and the car. So we'll go ahead. I'm just going to pop the center caps off and then we'll go ahead and try torquing the wheels and see how this torque wrench performs. Okay, so I got my e-torque half-inch drive torque wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I'm gonna have to set the torque to 110 foot-pounds. So in order to do so, I'm gonna turn on the light because I really like that. There's the light, we'll go ahead and, it's in inch-pounds now, we want foot-pounds. So I'll go ahead and select foot-pounds right there. And then to set it, pop that out and dial it up to 110. 108, 109, there's 110. So now I'm just gonna go ahead, put on my socket, and let's work it. All right, we have our torque wrench set. We will go ahead, engage it, and then torque it. There it is. Nice. You can hear that audible click. It just releases. Very nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump this up to, let's say, I'll go back to like 75, and I just wanna feel the difference. All right, here we are, 73, 74, 75. I'll go here. Nice. Oh, yep, you can definitely feel the difference. So this doesn't have any audible noise, like um, 
beeping or anything like that. It's just all, um, you know, releases like a normal torque wrench. And uh, that's, that's great. Sometimes those torque wrenches that are like beep, 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 and they, uh, you know, just kind of change their sound as you get closer. It makes you start to slow up on the torque and I don't know, makes you a little anxious, I guess. 110, lock cap in. We'll go back to that. That was just torqued to 75. Here. Oh, and that ratcheting feels nice, that 45 tooth ratchet. I like that. All right, so let's start torquing. Perfect. Another thing I want to point out too, some um, digital torque wrenches, the um, display will change as you start to uh, apply pressure on it. It'll show you where the actual um, torque, per current torque is, as opposed to what you have set. This doesn't do that, it just displays the actual torque in the window, and then, um, you know, it stays there. So as you're putting pressure on it, you won't see an increase in torque, um, you know, what the current torque is. All right, so let's torque this one. All right, and lastly, guys, don't forget that when you uh, are finished up with your torque, dial your torque wrenches back down to the lowest possible setting. You don't want all that extra pressure and tension on the springs in these torque wrenches. So go ahead and dial them down to the lowest setting and uh, then store them that way, put them away that way. So just a little public service announcement. So there it's low, turn it off, and let's go ahead and put it away. Guys, I can't say enough about this torque wrench. This is a great half inch drive torque wrench by eTorque. Um, for under a hundred bucks, I mean, you really, really can't beat it. All right, so that concludes my unboxing and review of eTorque's electronic half inch drive torque wrench. I hope I was able to answer any questions you may have. Hopefully it was helpful. And if you would, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted when I post new content. Thank you very much, guys. Catch you on the next one.